Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today I explain you why higher resolution is not always synonymous of better quality and I tell you what actually is to define the quality of an image. And so you will understand why the Quest 2 is not so better in image quality rather than other headsets, even if it's in almost 4K, almost, almost 4K. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Come find me on my Facebook page, Advanced VR Fair, and use the link in the description to buy your favorite games on instant gamings at discounted prices. So why it's almost 4K? Because the resolution of Quest 2 is 1832 per 1920 per eye. But let's start right from the resolution. What is it, the resolution? It's the number of vertical and horizontal lines that compose an image on the screen. And it also represents the highest resolution which you can see an image. So it's not the dimension of the screen because this one is expressed in inch. And it's not even the number of pixels because the number of pixels is expressed in pixels or megapixels. And why I said highest resolution? Because, for example, on a 4K screen, you can see image with lower resolution up to 4K resolution. Okay, but if I transmit an 8K video on a 4K screen, I can visualize it. Yeah, you can visualize it, but you're not seeing it in 8K resolution, but just in 4K. If it's not the resolution that defines the quality of the image, but the resolution it's just the dimension of the image. What is it that defines the quality? Have you ever heard about the bit rate? Bit rate. What is it, the bit? Bit and bytes are just little parts of digital information and they can be part of audio or video content. So the bit rate it's the number of bits that can be transmitted in a certain period and they are usually expressed in megabit per second. For example, a value of 5 megabit per second means that in one second you can transmit 5 millions of bits. Of course, higher will be this number and higher will be the quality of the image. Now I want to show you one thing. I registered these videos directly with uh, Quest 2, with the recorder of the Quest 2. And how is it so clear? Just because I improved the bitrate of the recorder using ADB commands. But this makes the video less smooth. Anyway, you're watching the recording I made at 1024 per 1024 on full rate capture. So it means from 60 up to 90 FPS, 90 Hz activated, but anyway, this is not important for the video and the image quality is good because the bit rate is 10 megabit per second. Even if the minimum rate to upload a video with these parameters on YouTube should be at least 15 megabit per second, but the Quest 2 can go up to 10 megabit per second maximum. So with these settings, the video do about 88 FPS average. And, you see, this is the quality of the video. Now, you're watching the same video with the same settings, but with a resolution of 1920 per 1080. So, even here we have the 90 Hz, the full rate capture activated, and 10 megabit per second. And even here, the frame per second are more or less the same as before. Okay, now, let's watch these two videos side by side. And tell me what you see in the 1080 video. Do you see the image is more grainy? But how come, since the resolution is higher? More or less, it's the same thing when you have a deflated rubber balloon. When you draw something on it, the image is clear and detailed. But then, when you inflate, the image will lose quality. But why this happen even on the screen? The screen is not a balloon, so why? As I said before, the resolution is the highest uh, dimension in which you can see an image. If you increase this dimension, if you stretch this dimension, but the bitrate is always the same, so the information about that image are always the same, the image with the highest resolution appear more stretched, 
and so the density of the information are always the same but on a higher surface but if I take a pen and I go to remark again the drawing the inflated balloon the image is again with good quality why because I added more information on that image with the inflated balloon I added more information and the image is good again same thing if you increase the resolution you need to increase the bit rate to increase the amount of information for that image now another example and let's watch again to the 1024 video this is the video with the original bitrate and now this is the same video with the lower bitrate as you can see videos are identical same resolution but one it's pretty clear the other one a bit less so this means that with the same resolution the video with the highest bitrate is the one with more quality and now let's do another example and this will probably surprise you now you're watching the 1024 video at 10 megabit per second and on the side is the 1080 video but with half the bitrate so 5 megabit per second and that's incredible right the 1024 video is better than the 1080 what a magic huh now how all this is related to the quest 2 and its 4k resolution almost 4k resolution simply because bigger is not always better and the quest 2 is the proof of it and you can realize if you put your eyes inside a rift s or a valve index which even with a lower resolution than the quest 2 they have a better quality looking good image we can say like that and why because they work at higher bitrate because they exploit the power of a gaming pc okay so why the quest 2 cannot reach the quality of the rift s or the index even when it's connected to a pc quest 2 can connect to a pc in two ways link cable or virtual desktop in both cases, the bitrate is strongly related to the equipment. A USB cable, it's not a video cable. So it transmits both the information about the video and the communication between headset and PC. Just in one cable, PC VR headset instead, thanks to the D-port connection, connect to a PC like a normal monitor. So the video information for a PC VR headset are transmitted by a video cable, while the USB cable take care about the exchange of communication between headset and PC and the power supply so all the video informations are not affected by the USB connection because they travel on different channels Quest 2 instead has just one USB cable so video and exchange of communication between headset and PC travel on a same cable and this cause compression the image starts from the graphic card travel inside the motherboard reach the USB cable here is compressed to travel inside the, cab the cable and then is decompressed inside the headset all this cause two problems loss of quality and latency which is a little delay between the moment when the image starts from the graphic card and the moment when you receive inside the headset but it's very very uh, little delay we're talking about 10 15 or 20 milliseconds so you don't even notice but why there is a loss of quality in the image because the quest 2 can support up to 10 megabit per seconds so even if you push an image at higher bitrate the technical limitation of the quest 2 affect the quality same thing if we are talking about the virtual desktop connection if you connect via virtual desktop you can increase the bitrate but anyway the oculus quest is always capable to receive a certain amount of bitrate per seconds least but not last there is another and probably is the main reason why you never seen four 4k resolution in your quest 2 and it's because the content for the quest 2 in standalone are not in 4k maybe the games for example overall standalone games are not even 1080 resolution and if you're talking about videos maybe they are 1440 resolution so 
Where the hell you see the 4K? Okay, the screen it's 4K almost 4k but if you want to see contents in 4k you have to put 4k contents inside the headset otherwise you will never have 4k resolution if you put up blu-ray for example in your headset okay maybe in that case you are exploiting the best of the resolution that the quest 2 can give you but so far there are no standalone games that can run in 4k resolution so you never seen the 4K resolution in Quest 2. I know this is a bit complicated and I hope I've been clear enough, but if you have any doubts, ask down in the comments. Okay, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe from Benitzol, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi!